pirates' secret water trick they don't want you to know. How sea wolves turned salt into life. They weren't just outlaws of the sea. They were survival masters. When the ocean turned cruel and the barrels ran dry, pirates faced a deadly truth, surrounded by water, yet dying of thirst. But here's the twist. Those rough-and-ready sea wolves discovered a secret so brilliant it defied the ocean itself. They learned how to turn salt water into fresh, drinkable water using nothing but fire, cloth, and grit. No filters, no gadgets, just pirate ingenuity. And before we set sail into this lost trick of survival, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, because at Prepper Survival Blueprint, we're digging up history's smartest survival secrets that could one day save your life. Forget the movies. Real piracy wasn't all treasure and rum. It was a brutal fight to stay alive. Out at sea, water was everything. A single barrel of fresh water could mean life or death for an entire crew. When storms wrecked supplies or long voyages stretched too far, even the toughest pirates faced dehydration. Salt water surrounded them in every direction, glittering, mocking, and completely undrinkable. Take a few gulps, and the salt starts pulling moisture from your cells, dehydrating you faster than before. Sailors knew this the hard way, so the question became, how do you make the ocean drinkable? Turns out the answer was sitting right under their noses and in their cooking pots. Here's where the real pirate genius shows up. These men didn't have science degrees or high-tech gear, but they understood one thing better than most. When water boils, steam rises, and that steam doesn't carry salt. Pirates began to experiment. They took their iron cooking pots, filled them with seawater, and set them over open flames. As the water boiled, they stretched canvas or cloth over the pot to trap the vapour. The steam condensed on the cooler surface, turning into droplets that dripped down into smaller containers. That fresh, clear liquid, pure, drinkable water. It wasn't perfect, and it was slow. But in the middle of the ocean, every drop counted. A gallon of sea water might yield half a gallon of drinkable water, enough to keep the crew alive for another day. This was pirate distillation, centuries before anyone called it that. Simple science born from desperation and pure survival instinct. You have to picture this. A wooden ship rocking on endless waves, men working over a fire as smoke and steam mix in the salty air. Pirates didn't just rely on one method, they improvised constantly. They'd sometimes use a cannon barrel as a boiler, heating it from underneath, while capturing the vapour from the opening. Others built small shelters on deck to trap heat and block wind, keeping the process steady. When fire wasn't an option, say, when they didn't want to alert enemy ships, they used the power of the sun. A pirate's solar still was simple but clever. They'd pour seawater into a shallow bowl, cover it with oiled cloth or animal bladder, and let the sun do the work. As water evaporated, condensation formed on the inside of the cover. Tilt it slightly, and those droplets would slide down into a smaller cup at the centre. It was slow. It was crude. But it worked. And that ancient method of solar distillation? It's still used today by modern survivalists, sailors, and preppers. The brilliance of this trick lies in its simplicity. When water turns to steam, it leaves behind almost everything. Salt, minerals, bacteria, even most toxins. Once that vapour cools and condenses, you're left with pure H2O. 
Pirates didn't need to know the chemistry. They just knew it worked. Fast forward a few centuries and modern desalination plants are doing the same thing, just with bigger machines and more pressure. But the principle hasn't changed. Evaporate, separate, condense, collect. That's the exact same science behind survival stills used by the US Navy during World War II and even in astronaut emergency kits today. So when we talk about pirate desalination, we're not talking about legend. We're talking about the origin of one of the most reliable survival methods on Earth. Let's bring it to your world. No ship, no crew, no cannon barrel required. If you ever find yourself stranded near salt water or just want to prep for worst-case scenarios, here's how to do it the pirate way. Fill a pot or pan with seawater. Place a smaller container inside it, something to catch the distilled water. Cover the pot with a lid turned upside down or a heat-proof bowl. As the water boils, vapour condenses on the lid and drips into the smaller cup. That's your fresh water. No power, no filter, just heat and patience. For a no-flame option, use the solar still technique. Dig a hole, pour seawater inside, cover it with clear plastic, and place a rock in the centre so it sags. As the sun heats the water, fresh condensation collects on the underside of the plastic and drips into your cup. That's pirate wisdom reborn. These methods can be lifesavers, not just in theory, but in any off-grid survival situation. What makes this story legendary isn't just the method, it's the mindset. Pirates didn't wait for help, they didn't need tech or tools. They used whatever they had, turning chaos into survival. Cannon barrels became boilers, torn sails became condensers. Even shattered glass was used to magnify sunlight for faster evaporation. That's the prepper's spirit in a nutshell. Resourcefulness, creativity and adaptability. Survival isn't about perfect equipment. It's about using your brain when the world gives you nothing. And that's exactly what these pirates did, centuries before prepping had a name. So the next time you see a calm blue horizon, remember this beneath that beauty lies the deadliest thirst trap on Earth. Yet long before science labs and desalination plants, pirates had already cracked the code. They turned seawater into life. And if they could do it with fire, cloth and willpower, so can you, with a little knowledge, a little courage and a lot of pirate grit. If this story fired you up and you want more forgotten survival wisdom, subscribe to Prepper's Survival Blueprint and share this video with someone who'd love to know how the sea's oldest secret still works today. Stay sharp, stay ready, and may your water always be fresh.